in this video we'll see mcdodge method for finding out slope and deflection here we have considered a simply supported beam the arrangement of the beam is as shown in the figure the total span length of the beam is l consider any section xx in such a way that it will cover all the loads or all the forces on the left hand side of it so on the left hand side of this section xx the reactive force ra is there active force w1 w2 and w3 they are acting at a distance of a1 a2 and a3 from the left hand support now first step is always to find out the reactions ra and rb now the differential equation of the deflection is ei d2y by dx square is equal to moment about section xx so this is the second order differential equation which we already know and to find out the moment about section xx we will require the perpendicular distance between w1 up to xx w2 up to xx and w3 up to section xx so those distances are shown over here so if this total distance is x from x if you subtract a1 then you will get the perpendicular distance between w1 and section xx so x minus a1 is the perpendicular distance between w1 and section xx x minus a2 is the perpendicular distance between w2 and section xx and x minus a3 is the perpendicular distance between w3 and section xx so if you take the moment about this section xx consider all the forces on the left hand side of section xx so ra will produce the clockwise moment and the perpendicular distance between ra and section xx is x so it is positive that is indicated over here this w1 it will produce anti clockwise moment about section xx so it is negative so w1 and perpendicular distance between w1 and xx is x minus a1 so force into perpendicular distance similarly w2 will also create anti clockwise moment so it is w2 into x minus a2 is the perpendicular distance between w2 and section xx this w3 it will also produce anti clockwise moment about section xx so w3 into x minus a3 so clockwise moment they are positive so ra is producing clockwise moment and hence it is negative whereas w1 is producing anti clockwise moment w1 w2 and w3 they are producing anti clockwise moment so it is negative so first step is always to find out the reactions ra and rb here we have kept them as it is we have not calculated the reaction we are just seeing the general method of mcdonald's so let us see the method in detail so we have considered a section xx at a distance x covering all the loads and we have already seen that moment about section xx is this particular term now let us equate the differential equation with this moment so ei d2y by dx square is equal to moment about section xx so substitute the value of moment about this particular section xx that is ra into x minus w1 into x minus a1 minus w2 into x minus a2 minus w3 into x minus a3 these are known as the compartment this is the compartment of ra this is the compartment of w1 this is the compartment of w2 and this is the compartment of w3 now if we integrate this equation then one of the differential coefficient will vanish so from d2y by dx square the integration of d2y by dx square is dy by dx so we'll integrate with respect to x so if you integrate with respect to x then let us see what will happen so therefore it is ei integration of d2y by dx square is dy by dx so and that will be equal to ra is constant integration of x is x square by 2 plus some constant of integration so that will complete our first compartment minus w1 integration of x minus a1 is x minus a1 bracket square divided by 2 minus w2 into integration of x minus a2 is x minus a2 whole bracket square divided by 2 similarly integration of x minus a3 is minus w3 into x minus a3 square upon 
Now, if you again integrate, then again this d by dx, this differential coefficient will vanish and you get only e i y. So, r a as it is, 1 by 2 as it is, integration of x square is x cube upon 3. Integration of c1 is c1 into x because integration of dx is x plus some another constant of integration because this is the second integration. So, we have integrated again. So, another constant is getting added over here. w1 by 2 x minus a1 square integration is x minus a1 whole bracket cube divided by 3 minus w2 upon 2 x minus a2 cube divided by 3 that is the integration of x minus a2 square minus w3 upon 2 x minus a3 whole bracket cube divided by So these are the these are the equations for slope and deflection. So we can say that e i y will be equal to r a into x cube upon two into three that is six plus c one x plus c two as it is minus w one by six x minus a one bracket q and similarly minus w two by six x minus a2 bracket q and finally we will get w3 by 6 x minus a3 q. Now we are having these two equations so e i y from this we will get value of y that is known as deflection. Mm -hmm. So this is the equation of the deflection using the boundary conditions we have to find out the values of c1 and c2. Then the previous equation that we have derived is that of dy by dx that is nothing but slope. So dy by dx will be equal to 1 upon ei and this particular terms. Again using the boundary conditions there are two boundary conditions and you will get two unknowns that is c1 and c2. So by using the boundary conditions we can easily find out the slope and deflection of support and any other point on the beam. So this is the general method that is the Meculus method. In the next lecture, we will see the particular examples or application of Meculus method to the actual example. Thank you very much for watching.